I'm like, uh, we saw, was... we saw over the head, the, the <laughs> wild, uh, the wild. No, no, no. no. <laughs> it was not the wild. It was not the wild. It was open season. Open season. Open season. With and I think there's the... a good reason why we keep screwing up the name of that. Yeah. Because there's been so many of those animated. Um, animals taking over in the wild kind of conditions or going in from the wild into the human world or from the human world back into the wild. I believe, lately. I believe also deducing from the way that the, the title open season was listed in uh, on the marquee at the movie theater, open season 2006, I believe it has been used previously. Oh, I did not <laughs> although, know that. Although I have not done the research to tell you what the previous open season was. Okay. Well, we'll have to look that up. That's what IMDb is for. <laughs> In any case... In any uh, case. The day starts with uh, two penguin previews, which I was kind of interested to see um, just from the this perspective of good computer-animated new movies to look forward to. Right. I was, not I was not expecting the second Penguin preview. Okay. I had seen the, the uh, Robin Williams fest, the Happy Feet. That was cute. It was pretty <laughs> cute. It, w it looked cute. It looked like, like something fun to take a, a small child to, which you, is good. You get this feeling that Hollywood executives last year were looking at the returns of, of um, March of the Penguins, <laughs> right. Morgan Freeman, and going, Penguins! Give me penguins! Right, and from Madagascar, too. And, Isn't Madagascar's well, penguins? they were the best, they were definitely the best, the best part of Madagascar, <laughs> definitely. And, uh, yeah, they, they were, they deserved their own short. I think they did a good job in that short. Right. Especially Rico. Go penguins. Go Rico. Go Rico. Um, so, we saw open season. So open season. So open season. <sighs> Ashton Kutcher. Um. Martin Lawrence, yeah, and a smattering of little halfway characters, nowhere near as fully developed as I would say, like Over the Hedge. Over the Hedge had a real, a real feel of a ensemble cast. That's true. Had everybody had you know, their own. It had a group dynamic. People were interacting with each other whereas this was the buddy movie this was just the buddies and the the other characters were just kind of background noise cute background noise cute. at times right buddy buddy <laughs> the, the porcupine was very cute and, cute and the boy. rabbits in this in this one the rabbits really took it from me just the way the penguins took madagascar the rabbits in open season really took it from me the rabbits made me laugh. There were a number of... I liked the movie. I liked the movie overall. I did not think it was Oscar-worthy. I don't know who that guy was. I'm sorry that they read on Geek Drum about this. There was, there was nothing Oscar-worthy about we this. Will, but... we, will not be seeing, <laughs> we will not be seeing them come um, Oscar time. No, I don't think so. But it was a very cute movie. It was definitely good for, for the, the family entertainment. Um, there were a number of laugh out loud moments, and most of those laugh out loud moments did include the rabbits, who never spoke a word, not a single spoken word, but when they were used in the physical comedy, I was laughing. I was spitting out popcorn. So the thing about the script was that overall, the overall structure of the script is, is very simplistic, and it's not, it's not reaching for anything it's just, Bear is used to a cushy lifestyle. Bear is thrown into the wilderness. Bear has to cope. <laughs> That's about it. And Bear is Martin Lawrence. And, and there's really no escape in that. You know, which was a little annoying, I thought. Martin Lawrence, very kind of watered down, very um, well, it whitewashed, was, if you will. I it don't was know. a G movie. <laughs> he had to be, but he was still very Martin Lawrence. If if I had my druthers, I would have had Martin Lawrence breaking out into more of his Martin kind of. Oh no, no no no! There was plenty of that as it was. It just right, that was well. annoying to me. I, that was really annoying to me. Well, it was just too much. There was too much of that. 
so in the, my opinion. I wanted the bear. <laughs> I liked the bear. It was the bear reminding me that he was Martin Lawrence that was getting annoying for me. Ashton Kutcher, I uh, thought was, was good. cute. He, he was did cute well. And funny. That was a funny character. Good portrayal of, of a wounded buck. <laughs> <laughs> I would say. Uh, yeah, it's Ashton Kutcher for you. Yeah. yeah. So, the the interesting thing for me about the script was, um, uh, while the overall structure was very poor, there were little set pieces that were very well developed. There was. There was this whole scene of um, an, a, a, a crowd watching what they think is going to be a little bear circus show, and then silhouetted in the background, they think they see oh, a murder. Well, away. yeah. Don't give it all away. But it was good. I, know I won't spoil about it, it for yeah, you. Don't, yeah, don't spoil but it. I really do think it is worth seeing. Nice especially little set kids. pieces here and there. Funny little set pieces. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, some uh, a later scene that was kind of interesting for me was um, the Braveheart scene. Yeah. E every every. Okay, you're giving too much away again. <laughs> you can't give away the whole thing. Well, but we can critique. You can little. critique it, but you can't give away the whole thing. Because that's giving away too much blood. You may miss the Braveheart scene. <laughs> You may They're miss it. They're not gonna miss the Braveheart scene. Because there is no individual at any time who has one side of his face <laughs> painted blue. Okay, that's there, true. There's no blue that's paint. That's true. And so the Braveheart scene could be missed by some of the five-year-olds. <laughs> so if there are any five-year-olds watching the show right now, just know there might be a Braveheart scene. So look for that towards the end of the movie. And bottom line, this is who this movie is really for. That's true. It's a family movie. Take the kids. And there's, there's a couple of, of jokes that will, uh, will go over the heads of the five-year-olds and get the parents as well. But not that many. Make you chuckle, maybe, a little. Nothing that's going to affect you on the level of a, not even in the same uh, ocean as a Finding Nemo. No. No. Oh, no. Um, it's no. very much on the low end of the animated fare, I would say. And uh, if you have a kid, you're going. But <laughs> you're going. But if you don't, um, catch it at the next birthday party, I would say. Netflix. Netflix. Uh, I, I'm not sure I'd waste a Netflix spot. Yeah, well, maybe when you have, you know, a sleepover, I guess, or, you know, maybe you could watch it while drinking. <laughs> Do a drinking game drinking involving game rabbits. Involving rabbits. There you go. Anytime you go. a rabbit, <laughs> take a drink. <laughs> All right. I'm Christian D. And I'm Cameron Lee. And that's our review of Open, Open Season, Season 2006. 2006. Have a good night. <laughs>